So this is my palette for my current piece. And this is what's called roving. I am a landscape felt artist and I mostly do needle felting. So felting needles are barbed. They have little sharp points going the other way all along the shaft. And wool itself is an excellent fiber for felting because it's scaly. So as you poke it with the barbed needle, you cause the fibers to tangle together and because they're scaly, they start to grab on. So you can see perhaps that this is just floating on top, but the more I needle it, the more it will begin to attach to the fibers underneath. And that is called felting. I spent my childhood visiting my grandparents on their farms in Saskatchewan. So most of my prairie work is just completely spontaneous. We put out a call to challenge our artists that we work with to look at something in the miniature scale. This show is Minutia, so it's a feature group exhibition of artists from across Alberta and the result is 55 artists who tackled the idea in very different ways. So normally I do work on a larger scale, but when the call came out I started keeping an eye out for interesting frames and I just happened to cross this really charming little red frame at a thrift shop and I immediately knew what I wanted to create for it. Deanne is one of our new talented artists that we started carrying in the shop and she applied for this show doing something new for her which is always fun for us to see. I oriented the frame so that it's in the upper right because it felt the most like you know you were in an upper story. This childhood memory of looking out the barn loft window out at these bright fields and this perfect blue sky and with puffy clouds and it was just such a happy little memory and I thought perfect to, to execute that on a, on a tiny scale. And this came at a good time for me because I've honed my skill with detail work, so I was able to take a lot of my big ideas and make them teeny tiny. 